just proves that Allah makes things happen. You don't make the rishta happen. <laughs> but anyhow, so that's for you. I, the other meaning of khayr. That's the one meaning of khayr. Good, bring good things in my life. But the other meaning of khayr that's more relevant to our conversation here. If you have made a mistake in your past, if you've made a major mistake in your past, then the only way to move on is to become desperate, desperate to do good deeds. He's asking Allah, Master, whatever opportunity you give me to do good, I will jump on it. I am bankrupt. Like someone bankrupt jumping towards a coin, I will jump towards a good deed. Helping someone, doing something good. Master, just give me the chance, I will do it. I have hurt another human being, I will spend the rest of my life helping human beings. This dua he made right after he helped a couple of girls get some uh, food for, or some, some water for their animals. Then he sat down and said, Ya Allah, any other voluntary deed, help hook me up. If you need me to volunteer for anything else, I'm available. Because I know what I've done in my past, and I know the only way I will know that you have given, you have blessed me in my life is if you give me opportunity to do good deeds. If you've done messed up things in the past, the way you compensate for that is you go out of your way to do what? Good things. And the lesson in Surah Al-Qasas is the number one kind of good thing is not make more salah or make more dua. That's standard anyway. You have to do that anyway. Help people. Do good things for people. Mend relations. You know, visit the sick. Take care of your parents. Visit your grandparents. Talk to the cousin that you hate. Send them a gift. That stuff. That's what he, because he did good for these girls. He didn't go and, you know, do the ibadah and then say, Ya Allah, forgive me. Actually, he just helped these girls and saw that helping them is actually my, my healing, me moving on with life. That's how he saw it, alayhi salam. Okay? So that's when you make a personal mistake. Now I told you there are three kinds of sadness that I divided. There was sadness brought on you by yourself. There was sadness from what? Other sadness brought upon you by other people. You know, in the case of one of the great examples, Musa is such a hero in the Quran, really. I mean, I even made friends with a rabbi because I'm so in love with Musa. <laughs> really, I, made friends, I have a rabbi friend in Dallas. I hang out with him talking about Musa. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Allah was talking to Jews so much in the Quran. And they ha obviously had some background information when they were listening. <coughs> So I want to know that background information. So I say, so, so what do you believe about Musa al What was going on? And we have some really interesting conversations the Rabbi and I. Some good stuff. You know? Uh, we mostly disagree, just so you know. <laughs> mostly disagree. And one of our first conversations was, so how did Moses get revelation? He goes, well, you know, he was uh, herding his sheep and uh, he saw a fire on the mountain. I was like, cool. Was he by himself? He goes, yeah. I was like, ah, oh, he was with his family. <laughs> he said his family, unless you're considering his sheep, his family, no, he had a family, and by the way, since so just because I'm talking to a rabbi at a kosher restaurant, I was like, by the way, they were Arab. Because <laughs> he married Buddy, he married Arab, and they admit that. Alhamdulillah, I always admit that. Okay. So, Moses' kids were half Arab, it's cool. Um, but anyhow, coming back to Musa alayhi salam, when others cause you pain, when he finally, when others, his nation has caused him so much pain. So much pain. And the only one really willing to listen to him, or anything he has to say is his own brother. That's all he's got, really. So he turns to Allah and says, Qala Rabbi, inni la amliku illa nafsi wa akhi. I, I have no control over anybody except my own brother and myself. Myself and my brother, that's all I can control. Fafruq baynana wa baynan qawmin fasiqeen. Ya Allah, just can you divorce us from these other people? I can't deal with them anymore. This is not for family. Don't make dodge with Ya Allah, my mother-in-law. Move <laughs> her to another state. <laughs> ya Allah, if she can just move to Atlanta, it would be so much better for us. No, 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 no. This is about other people, not family. There's no escape from family. La maqarra min al ahl. Ain't no escape. Prophets are, they cannot depart from the family until God's commandment comes. Nuh has to stick with his family until Allah tells him leave. Ibrahim continues to pray for his father until Allah tells him stop. When a, when a mother came up to me and said, my son is such a disappointment. One of my kids memorized Quran, did this, this, this. The other one drinks and he clubs and I, he, I don't even think he's my son anymore. I don't consider him my son. This is the I don't know. I don't know. 
Where do you, how do you say it? Well, you know, Ibrahim alayhi salam, he left his father and Nuh alayhi salam, Allah told him he's not your family. I was like, Allah told you he's not his family or Nuh alayhi salam? And after how many hundreds of years have you lived that you get to <laughs> apply the fatwa of Nuh alayhi salam <laughs> yourself? Watch it, lady. That's still your son. You can call him whatever you want. But he's still your son. You can't, you can't break family ties. But you can pray to Allah to separate you from those who are not family that are causing you a lot of grief. It could be your employer causes you a lot of grief. It could be, Ya Allah, get me a job where I don't have to suffer through this. It's fine. If Musa has a right to ask that, you have a right to ask that. That's fine. There are some people you just can't get along with. They're just there to cause you grief. And you pray to Allah to help you get away from those kinds of people. Keep you, keep you away from them. And, you know, and that, that's perfectly fine.